Hey guys, thanks for watching Red Dirt Rods. We're continuing work on our Gen 5 L83 5.3 liter V8 that we pulled out of a 2015 Silverado. We've rebuilt this engine with standard mains, standard rods, and new pistons that we picked up from Molly. They are the Molly drop-in series. They don't change your balance. They drop right in. They're available in standard. 10 and 20 under. We've got standard size in here. Also, they come with one millimeter piston rings, which reduces friction and should lower operating temps a little bit as well. We are going to reuse the stock rod bolts on these rods because we did not take these rods to the machine shop to get resized with ARP bolts. So, because of that, we can reuse these. GM says you can reuse them three times. This is the first rebuild, so this will be the second torquing of these bolts. There's a special process, and we're gonna show you how to do it for your project. This is a torque to angle bolt. It's not torque to yield. There is a difference. Torque to yield cannot be reused. Torque to angle can be. The rod bolts, and the mains are both torque to angle. We're gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna start back here. We've got our angle gauge. We're gonna show you how to use that here in just a second. So I'm gonna sit that there. Now we have a torque wrench set to 15. That's their base setting. So you torque each one of these to 15, then you do the angle. So first, oh, got the wrong side. Hold on. 13, jackass. Oh, it is 13. This one's the right one. Okay, so there's been some adjustment by GM on the torque spec when reusing these rod bolts. So the original spec is 15 foot pounds, then 75 degrees. They've put out a tech service bulletin recently that says 15 foot pounds, 80 degrees. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got our torque wrench set to 15 foot pounds and the stock rod bolts have an 11 millimeter socket. So we're just gonna take this up to 15. Okay. You want to be really careful when setting your base torque because every degree adds more stress on your bolt and your bearings. So you want to stop right when you get to 15. So we're going to do these back two first because we got to change our sockets. My half inch sockets don't go that small. So we've got a socket adapter. Okay, so now it's a little tricky to use one of these on a, uh, on a connecting rod. So we're just going to sit this and then just kind of find a good spot. That should work. All right. So we've got our torque angle gauge. We're going to hold it up against the uh this other rod right connecting rod right here and we've got it zeroed now it's zeroed okay and then we're going to take this up to 80. right there and then we're going to come back around and do the same thing this one i think we'll uh lock it up against the crank here. You just want to make sure that you hold this tight up against whatever it is that you're locking that rod against. Otherwise it can move around and cause bad readings. Okay, so right there. Okay, 80 degrees. Then we'll come back over here. Let's see what we want to use. We're just going to do that again. Re zero. Okay. 
I'm gonna switch hands here. Bring it over to 80. Then this one, find a good spot here. We'll bring it up to the, the counterweight right there. And then just hold this kind of all in one place. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Now, we just do the rest. Let's make magic.